talk you through the time code notes uh, field recording app. Uh, so the whole idea is that basically you're able to generate these timestamp notes uh, and then add loads of extra uh, functionality to it. Um, so I'll take you through the settings first because that's probably the most useful. So you can either do your device time. Uh, I've saved this as a progressive web app, so you can actually download this for like offline use because uh, all of the data is just purely on your device, so it doesn't actually require... Uh, the internet really to even work. Um, you can obviously then do custom time code. You could obviously change this to uh, whatever you want, whenever you're starting, uh, or obviously just have it as zero zero zero. So you can set that, and obviously that's reflected in uh, updating the timestamp, or you can cancel. Next, we have uh, obviously frame rates. Again, it's more for reference um, because some shots, also script supervisors can obviously use this as well. Um, so you may not be recording sound at 120, um, but it's more just for your own reference. Um, so choose whichever one you want to have. It will kind of reflect in the thing, but essentially a second, no matter how many frames it is, is a second. So again, this is more just for your own references of if there's changes in frame rates. Uh, GPS coordinates. So if you're doing field recording uh, and you press the time code stamp, it will basically also download your GPS uh, data as well um, of wherever you are with the device that you are using this on. Um, and then you'll be able to uh, use that data to essentially, I don't know, map it out uh, if you're doing recordings or anything like that of like nature. Uh, gear used. Um, so I've entered in some random stuff here, but you can just put, I don't know, 10. 10 times SM81s. Um, and then you can add gear, move it around the list as you want. Uh, obviously, edit it, delete it, whatever you like. Same with locations. Uh, so I've done a house and a forest. You could put whatever whatever you like. Input lists. So you can, might have a boom, a radio mic, a character name. And again, your channels may change around. So when you're doing the whole final thing, um, this is more of just a general one. It won't, unless you're generating a report every single time, this will probably be better from your device, but you could probably say like, there's generally a boom on one, uh, a radio mic on two, three, four, five, um, et cetera, et cetera. Or you could even set up your recorder. So you're just recording a certain person on a certain track, uh, as well, which might make it easier, uh, in post-production editing. Uh, then quick fire buttons is a really cool one. So I've made one here called Dialog Fluff, but let's say uh, I put one as uh, rain, and then I just put it started raining, and then I make it purple, I guess. Um, and then basically what that does is then that adds a short way in the notes section for you to, oh, let me click the show button. Um, it makes a quick way for you to enter in a note with metadata already. So rain, and look, it's timestamped it, it said it started raining. And it's I've got GPS location data disabled, and I want it to be in the forest. And so I save it and it gets added. Oh, there was a dialogue fluff. Uh, and this was in the house one. And there we go. So that's basically a faster way of entering in uh, repeat things. So you might be working with uh, several characters. You could have a dialogue fluff, for instance, for each character. You could have um, retake needed or suggested or any kind of notes that you want. Just makes that metadata a bit easier. And then obviously your general uh, product uh, project um, details as well. And a clear cache and like refresh app, obviously when there is an update, because this saves as an offline version of your phone, it will just keep working. Um, and then obviously updates won't override anything you're doing unless you then clear uh, and refresh the app. So basically if I update it, it doesn't stuff you up if you're using this in a different time zone. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, we can go backwards and forwards. Then we can export this as either a CSV or a PDF. Um, I don't know if you can, I assume you can see the PDF if I upload this, um, but it's got our project details, it's done the locations, it's done gear used, input list. It's also done the notes by time code, but as in just in order, but it's also then grouped them by location. So if I had more of them, it would basically put all the forest ones together and then in a timestamped order, and then it would put all the house ones together in a timestamped order. And you can see because we have GPS location data not enabled, uh, it just has an A written on it. And you can do this as a CSV if you prefer to edit like that. So that is an overview of the Time Code Notes field recording app, uh, and there should be a link in the video description below. Thanks for now.